Well, tonight, people of the Jewish faith will begin to welcome the year 5782, all in celebration of Rosh Hashanah at sundown. Many celebrating will need to find, though, a different way to do so this year. Our Joe Carbonari has more on what local synagogues are doing to help people worship in a pandemic. There's a pool between religious beliefs, the rise in COVID-19, and going virtual for high holy days across synagogues. Our dependence on God, although it's very important for those things that we have absolutely no control over, they are things that we do control. This year, the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County estimates about 80% of synagogues in the county are offering a virtual option with an in-person experience, only 20% going fully virtual. Benai Torah Congregation in Boca Raton is one of them, calling the decision difficult, but telling us between case numbers and the large amount of elderly people who attend their services, it was a concern. We have thousands of people that come into the synagogue on Rosh Hashanah and on Yom Kippur. So a lot of people, the more people there are, the more concentrated it is, the more difficult it is for social distancing. But over at the Jewish Community Synagogue in Palm Beach Gardens, their approach is based on orthodox views and say the nearly 1,500 members they have are all vaccinated. Rosh Hashanah is about accepting a higher force. It's about accepting God as our king. And when you believe in a higher force and you believe in doing what's right, you can't really replicate that by doing it virtually. Orthodox synagogues don't use any electric on the holiday. We don't use our cars, not our phones, our computers. They are, however, limiting capacity at 50 people. And for those who don't want to come inside. For those that don't want to come inside, we're going to do part of the show for blowing outside for them. I pray and I hope that this new year turns a new leaf, a healthy leaf, and we can finally put this COVID behind us. Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News.